just got out of work. It's been a long day. Anyways, I wanted to make a video about why you shouldn't think that you're a bodybuilder. Back in the beginning of my working out days, when I first started trying to lose the weight and exercise, I mostly did cardio, and then doing a lot of cardio didn't give me the physique that I wanted. So I switched to weight training. And the second I started weight training, I had unrealistic expectations. I thought I was gonna look like the David Lades and the Jess Sides and the uh, Matt Oguses and the, you know, all these famous shredded YouTubers and Gymshark models and stuff. And it's just not, from where I was, it wasn't, I mean, maybe it was, maybe there's to an extent I could achieve something close or similar, but there's the idea of performance enhancing drugs and steroids and stuff, and you don't know what people are doing or taking. Anyways, I've always wanted to be a bodybuilder. My prime drive when I first started working out was to be a bodybuilder. I wanted to lift big big weights for lots of reps. And and funny enough, I wanted to be a bodybuilder, but I strength trained mostly. I did kind of like a power building, <clears throat> five sets of five. I would do five sets of five on bench, five sets of five on lat pull downs. I would, five sets of five was my bread and butter. And I did that pretty consistently. And I never really did hypertrophy training, but I considered myself a bodybuilder. I know it's, uh, it doesn't make sense, but training like a bodybuilder and thinking that you're going to be a bodybuilder sets you up for um, maybe disappointment might be the right word, but a um, false sense of um, of what's actually going to be achieved. And uh, I'm not saying that you can't. I, I, I guess from my experiences, um, you can gain a lot of muscle training strength and bodybuilder style, but to think that you're going to be a bodybuilder and live that lifestyle, it's not for everybody. And I mean, you should try it if you seem interested in it, but I don't think that bodybuilding or being a bodybuilder or working out as if you're a bodybuilder is the best way to go about your fitness and nutrition goals. Find something that you enjoy doing, that you love doing, and just do a lot of that. If you like fighting, go to the dojo and fight and train that way. If you like working out, go to the gym and lift weights. You don't need to pay for a program. If, unless you really are specifically have some sort of goal and you don't want to waste time researching that knowledge to make your own program. But if you like bicycle and riding, then bicycle ride. If you like swimming, swim. If you like running, run. It's as simple as that. Just be healthy, be active. You don't need to have the physique of a Greek god. It's, it's, I wouldn't say overrated, but it's very, very hard for a lot of people to obtain and, and maintain. Uh, I could easily get, I could easily get um, lean 10%, look really, really good, but I cannot maintain it. I'm very miserable. I'm lethargic. I'm tired. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to move. And life is just all around miserable. So do something in the middle. You're probably not going to be shredded with a six pack year round. It's very difficult for most people. If you have the genetics to do it, then you're just blessed. But me and the average normal person, we're not able to do that. So just find something that you enjoy. Live a healthier lifestyle. Simple as that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a quick one. Sorry, I just worked a 12-hour shift. But got another video for you guys tomorrow. So have a good one. Good night.